the commercialization of the Korean AESA radar for the Korean Fighter Experimental 21, KF-21, jointly developed by the Defense Science and Technology Institute, DSTI, of South Korea and Hanwha Systems is imminent. On the 19th, Hanwha Systems announced that the AESA radar, which is a critical mission equipment that determines the performance of the KF-21, has obtained interim suitability for combat. The interim suitability assessment is a preliminary stage before the final combat suitability assessment. Hanwha Systems has laid the foundation for full-scale production of the first AESA radar to be installed on the first KF-21 fighter jet. This development opens up the possibility of replacing foreign mechanical radars used in domestically produced fighter jets, including the FA-50, with domestic radars, as well as exploring new opportunities in the global advanced radar market. This assessment is part of the procedure to rapidly deploy a weapon system that takes a long time from development to production, by simultaneously advancing system development and production. The Defense Acquisition Program Administration DAPA, plans to start mass production of the KF-21 soon, obtain the final combat suitability assessment in 2026, and deliver the aircraft to the Air Force in the second half of that year. The AESA radar was developed purely with domestic technology, with Hanwha Systems participating as the prime contractor. It is a core equipment of future fighter aircraft that performs various missions, including detection and tracking of multiple airborne, ground, and maritime targets, image formation, and close combat support. In order to successfully complete the initial flight test of the KF-21, Hanwha Systems has been enhancing the completeness of the AESA radar. They verified the performance through hardware prototype validation and conducted flight tests on test aircraft before the installation of the prototype radar, gradually validating its performance and functionality within a short development period. In April, they successfully completed additional flight tests with the radar installed on the KF-21 prototype aircraft.